grocery stores that are so, <coughs> you know, outlandishly priced. Now you can grow your very own right in the ground in a pot. This is like having the Mediterranean mm -hmm. in, in my backyard in Indiana. Exactly. Yeah, there's a reason that That's figs... That's pretty cool. Yeah. Figs have been popular since the days of antiquity, ancient Greece and it's Rome. It's biblical fruit. Exactly. Yep. But unless you were living there or in Southern California or Florida, you couldn't grow a fig because they need that hot temperatures year round. But we found this fig plant that can take temperatures down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit so that you can plant it right in the ground and start to get fruit this very first season. And they grow so quickly. You're gonna, your plants will grow up to three feet the very first year. Oh, wow. Now, you have this one in a pot because we're transported and being able to. Do you recommend that people put it in a pot or to put it in the ground? It depends what you want. Okay. You know, as long as you live um, where it doesn't get below negative 10 degrees, you know, that would be Westchester, Pennsylvania. It's, it's good to go. Plant okay. it right in the ground. And that's amazing. That's, that, in my opinion, I like the look of it in the ground, but you can plant it in a pot, which is also a very new feature for figs. If you've ever wanted to grow a fig before, and you've lived in the cold areas, you thought, oh, maybe I'll plant it in a pot, bring it inside in the winter. Well, no other figs, to, to my knowledge, will perform in a pot because okay. there's something about them, they just need that ground. Didn't know that. These figs will perform wonderfully in a, in a pot. This, this dry, this is just what you- Just check this out. This is what your family does yeah. better than anybody else. This well, is a real fig, we'll pluck that. These were introduced to us last year in March. They were brought in and they were gone immediately. These are now available a little earlier, but at a price of $29, you'll That's get right. two pieces. I have never tried a natural fig. So you just eat the interior? You can eat the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, definitely. You want to eat the whole thing. It's all right. flavorful. That's sweeter than I thought. Yeah. It's, there's a reason wow. that it's so popular. It's luscious, it's sweet, but it's also savory. I, I was expecting like a Fig Newton. No, Fig Newton. These well, are a lot better than the cookie. Oh gosh, are you kidding me? These are fresh right off your own tree. Wow. And you're gonna be getting fruit this August and then starting year two, you're gonna start to see That's fruit really cool. in mid-June. And, and you then, made jams. Yeah, you know, because you're gonna have so many fruit with two fruiting seasons, uh -huh. I like to make preserves. So this past weekend, I made some, some uh, fig preserves. You just take some fresh figs, cook it down with some lemon juice or Meyer lemon juice if, right. if you're really, uh, really savvy. Then I pair it with a little cream cheese. Would you like to try? Absolutely. And it's, it's simply to die for. Do you know how it's seldom a guy from Indiana gets to eat figs off of a tree? Exactly. I'm a well, happy guy. Good. It's so tasty, isn't it? Oh, good. Yeah, I spilled all my... No, stuff. you're good. Oh, oh, okay. I got a napkin if you need it. That's but... really good. Well, that's what sleeves are for. Yeah, well, good, good, good <laughs> point. I'm a guy. <laughs> like my brother. Now, do you recommend planting both of them if you're going to go to a pot in the same pot or planting them independently of another? You can do either or. If you want to put them together, wow. that's perfectly fine. Just put them in a nice big pot so they have ample space to grow. And these, these plants, you see how well rooted these are? These are going to take off for you. They've experienced an entire winter already in our greenhouses. All right. And what that means for you is that you plant this in a pot, in the ground, and these are gonna start to grow so quickly, creating these gorgeous, luscious fruit this August. And then June and August. So you're gonna have so many figs. You can freeze them. They pair with meats and cheeses, but they also go well in fig tarts or as a preserve. And it's a gorgeous plant. Yeah. And I love that it doesn't grow straight. Exactly. It, it's, it looks ancient from the day it, it's born. Exactly. I know. It, it's almost like a bonsai. And you'll see it on the one that we have here. But again, the only winter hardy fig yeah. that, that we've know ever of. found. Yes. And it's so great because they can, you know, if you've wanted to grow a fig in the past, and you did, and you knew you wouldn't be able to plant it in a pot because they don't work in pots. All right. You maybe you, you live in in Pennsylvania. You had to move. You, you, well, you <laughs> plant it in the ground, and then you have to go out in the winter, cover it with bags, cover it with tires, and you make your your sad winter garden even uglier. And it's okay. it's like not something that you want to do. Now you don't have to do that. 
what, I, what I loved about this, and we talk about foliage, and the foliage is a rich, rich green, but if you look at the trunk of this tree, uh -huh. it grows with kind of a wild sense yeah. of abandonment. Yeah. And how tall will these get when planted in the ground? In the ground, they can reach up to eight feet tall. Oh, wow. Yeah, but they, don't have, they can be as big as you want them. In a pot, they're really easy to prune so that you can actually, if you want to, you can bring these indoors in the wintertime so you can enjoy the gorgeous look of okay. this plant year round. Nothing else yeah. like this. They brought these to us in March of last year. Boom, on the air and gone. What we have is a limited supply. This is mother nature being treated with the best hands in the world. To be able to, again, mm -hmm. winter these over already for a full season before you get them. Your standard shipping and handling is included. You'll get two of them for under $30. And I challenge you to find these in any of your local garden centers mm -hmm. because you just will not be able to do so. Yeah. So yeah. if you and want something unique and something edible, something that's easy good. To grow. You know, Edible plants are all the rage right now. Everyone wants to grow something that you can enjoy. This uh, is the yes. perfect plant. If you want something unusual, but something so tasty that's been you know, around. I, 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 I saw, didn't even know I liked figs until I know. five minutes ago. So. I know, I was in Greece actually last summer okay. and where they grow natively, they grow wildly. You know, people that are local, they pluck the figs right off the tree, plop it in your mouth. It's juicy, <laughs> it's luscious, it's sweet, it's savory. It, they're so delicious. If you wait on these, you will be disappointed. If you wait until March, which is when they sold out last year, you will have missed this boat completely. Extremely limited at this point. Shipping and handling is included. Over 2,000 of them have been ordered just this morning. They will ship the week of May 5th. Spring is 40 days away. It's our spring fever event here at QVC. It is right now about 10 minutes till the top of the hour, so we've got about an hour and 10 minutes left to go in this big two hour Roberta show. Coming up in about 20 minutes, and excited to show it to you. These are called over the top dahlias. We've seen dahlias and dahlias were kind of the, the wallflower of flowers. You've never seen colors like this. You have never seen sizes like this. They will ship as three tubers, easy and simple to grow, priced at a featured price of $27.21. What we have are the only quantities of the season, brand new as of today.